you're saying it, and then verbal communication is how you say it. And then also we'll talk about a little bit about what to do before an interview, uh, and then TTPs, and uh, the practice interview is going to be mercifully. For this Thursday graded interview, to think a little bit about what you're going to say in the advance. I will tell you, I won't give you the questions, I will tell you there will be a couple of generic type questions, sort of like, who are you, where you're from. Then there will be questions, a couple, two to four questions on the competition, and you can talk about your experiences. And then the last couple of questions are... So I want to talk real quick about themes, messages, and talking points. <coughs> so you have main themes. No matter what, if you remember nothing else, remember basic themes, you know. All right, good. We're all in an even playing field then. <coughs> um, so themes for this competition, I try to keep them to three themes. Um, one is that you guys are the best of the best, that you've gone through a lot of competitions to get here. One is that even if you don't win this competition, the training is valuable. And then the third is, <coughs> so for example, you guys are the best of the best. <coughs> a message, so that, that's a message that, you know, um, I don't even know what that percentage is, but you are truly the best 14 of the soldiers in NCFs. Uh, and I'll hand you out these to you. I felt so physically and mentally drained as when I finished that obstacle course. That would be a talking point. It's any sort of example, and I'll give you some points. If you take it to the next level and you personalize that and you tell that story, then you'll get a few more points. <clears throat> And if you're out in left field and say this competition was stupid um, and I didn't learn anything, then you get no points. So that's messaging. That's what you say. Next page, you take it for a grain, with a grain of salt because he's not out living it. You guys are. People trust you. So always don't talk in the jargon and the Pentagonese. You guys talk just how you would talk. Like if you're at the dinner table with your mom and dad on leave and you're explaining to them what you do. All right, next page. Pre-interview. Check appearance. You guys are coming right out of the board, so your appearance should be good. We will be doing it outside. We will be doing it with beret. So make sure your beret, have a buddy help you out. That's, that's more than authorized uh, to have somebody else check you out. Uh, you can bring notes of how you present messages is nonverbal. <coughs> sort of kind of like what you guys were doing up there. Smile. Don't try to out on the camera. Just be cordial, casual, conversational. Um, once again, this is like you're having, you're talking to an old friend or a family member. Um, you do this totally. So, don't slouch, but don't also, do not stand at parade rest um, or stand at attention. Just just stand like, like kind of like how I am right now. I'm just talking to you guys. Um, and don't cross your arms. Cross good with it. I have nothing on my score sheet that says that you're talking to Italian. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Um, and then don't try to intimidate the reporter with your presence, uh, which would be like kind of you. So you can pause. So if the reporter asks you a question, <coughs> you can take a breath, think about it, <coughs> Say, that's a good question. And then go by your answer. <coughs> yeah, you are. If you've ever had that, like, repeat the question <coughs> after you hear it. So that's when you say, um, quick, next page. Pausing with a purpose. Like I said, never hesitate to pause. And once again, this is not a live interview. And I will not grade you poor if you start off with a bad answer pause and say, you know what, let me rephrase that. That's good to go. Alright? So, feel free to talk. Don't use those crutches like um and ah uh and like. The blocking would be, I can't really talk about that, but is that, but what I can say, or a block would be, well, I'm not really here to talk about um, North Korean missile systems. I'm really here to talk about this competition. So that I'm really here to talk about is your is important to me. This is an important message. Uh, next page. <coughs> now 
repetition and consistency. I'm not going to grade you if you give me the same sort of theme and message in two different answers, you block and bridge to a theme and a message that you already talked about in another question, you get points for both. Because the key to these is that you want to stay in a, ni in a nice lane with your themes, messages, and talking points, and you want to hammer them, and you want to repeat them, because just because you said it once, um, and then take a drink of water. Don't be like me and finish off your water before you get there. Um, just feel free to take a pause, drink water, gather your thoughts, and tackle it again. And then final tips. <coughs> I'm not going to gig anybody for these. Um, but as you, particularly for the two that go on to the Army competition, there will be further uh, interviews. And then if you win the Army competition, you will be interviewed quite a bit. Um, you are the equal with the reporter. Um, if his name is Bob, answer again. So if he asks you that question during the interview, um, you don't have don't say like I said before. Just just try to answer it exactly how you answered it the first time. If you nailed it, and the reason is because if I'm the viewer, I don't know what you said before. I just saw that piece. And then finally. You will be asked to get that message out. So that's sort of your last chance to get theme and message messaging points for the grade. Um, I had an example interview, um, but it's already late. Um, so if somebody asked me a question. Somebody's a reporter just asked me a question. I know how many points this is. It would be interesting to see that if the person who ultimately won this competition won by a point or two and they also paid attention to this class and maybe